What's good, y'all? Welcome back. Today, we're going to be doing something a little bit different from what we did yesterday. Now, yesterday, I did a reaction to, what was it, like sports injuries? Today, it's another reaction, but we're going to do a reaction to a creepy deep web story to by Llama Arts. Now, I've watched Llama Arts stuff before, but I haven't seen this one, so I'm pretty excited. Uh, if you guys enjoy this video, let me know down in the comments. Let's get into it. Original video link will be in the description also. I was 26 years old, and I was unemployed. Feeling unfulfilled by the monotony of a job life, I decided I would try my hand at working from home. So my days and nights comprised me of surfing the internet for any jobs I could get. I was a big procrastinator, so more often than not, I'd stray away and waste time doing other things. One that day, I came across talk about the deep web while on Reddit. I, I felt like amused by the people talking about it as if it was something so scary, and decided I'd look into it. It was stupid of me to go on it in the first place, but I made it even sillier by deciding to check it out late at night. Yeah, deep it was about 2 a.m. and I came across a website where you could chat with someone anonymously. The person I got was a woman. She was in her early 20s and very pretty. She sat with her head in her hands, looking playful into the webcam she while batting her eyes. She looks drugged. I had no desire to turn my camera on and started our chat, thinking that while I didn't come across anything scary, I could befriend this pretty girl. It sounded like a better deal anyway. She told me to turn the camera on, but I ignored that request and tried to get her to talk. She finally did after some prodding, but I noticed how guarded she was. I also noticed how after every message I sent, her eyes would look off camera, either to her side or somewhere. Oh yeah, nah, Chief. Nah. She, uh, somebody behind that damn camera. Now, coming from me, being on Omegle as a kid, not even as a kid, like a teenager, that shit is creepy as hell sometimes. So, th this is just, on the deep web? Yeah, I'm good. Y'all can keep that. Behind her computer. After a while, it started getting annoying, so I asked her if someone else was there with her. I want to see you first. She said. Up until now, I'd been chatting while she'd answered my questions verbally. I'm not that curious. Don't be scared. She said, laughing, this time looking behind the laptop again and making a face that seemed to indicate she was laughing at my expense with someone else. This is getting boring. It feels like I'm not just talking to you. That's because you're not. You're talking to all of us. Who the fuck is all of us? Turn your camera on. I'm good. Is this a joke? Answer my question Turn first. It on. Okay. I'll be leaving now. Turn on the camera. Her laughter was almost piercing by now. There was nothing humorous about the situation, yet she threw her head back with riotous laughter. Yo, her nostrils big had as enough, fuck, boy. I moved the cursor over to turn the chat box off when I saw the cursor had jammed. The only thing that was working was the chat box, and I still had access to the keyboard. Turn the camera on, sweetie. Her gumdrop-filled voice was louder than before when I moved my gaze up to see her smiling toothfully at the camera. Her face still beautiful, but the smile completely faded. Y'all see her eyes? She keep like doing this shit. She keep looking over. See the screen. Sorry. I lied. I didn't want her to know I had no option but to chat. We well, are deep web niggas. Know you going blank. There was nothing there but a black screen. I felt relieved, thinking that at least I didn't need to talk to her while I tried to figure out what happened to the screen. Just then, a chat message popped up. Open the damn camera. You the whoa, 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 whoa. See, that's when I would have unplugged my computer from the wall, threw it out the window, because shit finna go left real quick. What I'm, what I'm a prick for? Just because I don't want my camera on? Frightened me. Now, the fact that I couldn't see her face while she typed this made me feel nervous. I didn't dare reply back, but then the cursor moved. I watched shell shocked as the cursor twirled around the screen. Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. The camera is that now. is that his cursor? I still didn't make a move. There was no way anything good would be waiting for me if I did what she asked. Oh, he did. Oh, he did it himself. The okay. screen began flickering, 
as if a virus was causing the computer to writhe in agony. I'm telling you, turn your shit off. My heart raced. Could it be possible she knew Find me. was? I started typing. Please stop bothering me. Then turn on the skin camera. By this point, I thought she was some kind of sadist and got her kicks by scaring unassuming people in chat yeah, rooms. Yeah, this bitch crazy. So I obliged and turned the webcam on. See, and this is the difference. Face staring into the I'm sorry for pausing it so much. This is the difference between white people and black people. No offense, because I, I know not all white people do this dumb shit. But this is some stupid shit right here. I would have been unplugged my computer, like I said, and did. Why are you complying? Why are you listening to what she's saying? You don't know her. You don't owe her nothing. What's the point? Either two things is going to happen. They're going to find out where you live and they're going to kill you. Or you unplug it and they could still possibly find out where you are and kill you. The screen. Judging by my face, my attempts at looking tough were painfully unsuccessful. I asked around for the girl looking straight into the camera, telling her I did what she wanted and to stop hacking into my computer. There were several seconds of silence. I kept my stare directed to the little box that showed her camera feed, but it was pitch black. I motioned into the camera in confusion, feeling as if she was messing with me now. Then I saw another message. Look here. After a few seconds of staring at those words, I looked back at her camera, but my computer instantly malfunctioned, and I received another message. Look here. Don't look up. The chat Don't was filled with nonsensical gibberish. She typed with such ferocious speed, my screen whirled away with her constant messages. I couldn't understand what was going on, but I didn't look up. My patience ran thin, and I wrote back. What is this supposed to mean? Show sure, they're speaking that German. I read only the letters in bold and shuddered. Look up. I looked back into what my webcam the and fuck? I fell back into my chair. My eyes wide. Yo, I just she got the chills. There. Only her face Bruh. looked completely demented. She looks she fucking had a sick. Savage expression, devoid of emotion. Are you well? But her eyes were almost popping out of their sockets, and she was huffing as if she had extreme amounts of pent up rage. The way she looked directly into the camera made me feel she despised me with all of her being. There was no amusement there anymore. Her camera went blank again. Then the chat popped up. See, you know what the fucked up part is? My heart stopped again. For How you gonna tell second, him? There had been the same blackness. To turn on his camera. To come back on. And then you she keep turning yours off. Anymore. There was a man next to her with a black mask on. He made no movements other than look into the camera like the girl. The girl's neck creaked to her side. It looked Did like she just break her fucking her neck. And then the lights went out again. He got on a witch doctor mask, so you know them niggas is weird. This time, I screamed in fright and fell off my chair. There was another man with them now. He was standing next to the girl with the original one on the other side. This man had the same mask on. But She's his hands were pain? grasping the girl's shoulders. Even with the subpar quality of the webcam, I could see the force with which the man dug his hands into the girl. It looked like he could rip her in two. The girl, however, had a huge grin on her face. Her eyes were mad with glee, or so it looked. Her teeth were perfectly lined up as her mouth spread into that toothy grin. She do got but some straight teeth. I could see she was in pain. Even with the smallest sign of her smile fading, the man clenched his hands even tighter than before, which made her smile even wider. All three of them were shaking, as if it was extremely cold where they were. After a couple seconds, I realized they were shuddering, like trying to hold back laughter. What are you laughing at? I yelled into the screen. They didn't answer and continued to tremor with concealed hilarity. What is so damn funny? I bellowed. They stopped shaking. Within a couple seconds, the screen went black again. When it turned back on, the man no longer grasped oh, the girl's nah, shoulders. Gee. Neither was she smiling. Bro, why are they All pointing three at me? pointed into the camera. Upon a closer look, I understood that they weren't pointing at me. Fuck out of here.
<laughs> nigga, I would have lost my fucking mind. I'm first of all, how does he not see it? Nigga, it's your camera. Yo, kill me. Take me out quick. I don't want to suffer. Just end me because I ain't got time for it. Niggas just appearing in my can. See, it could be a thing where he just in the camera. But if homie is really there, though, just take me out. They were pointing behind me. I didn't need to look back. I could see myself in the webcam. There was someone peeking from behind me. It was another man in the mask. And according to what I saw in my webcam, he was with me in my room, right behind me. I turned around quickly, but saw nothing where I had seen him in the webcam. I turned back towards the screen and, to my bewilderment, saw a third man in the girl's chat box. Yo, these niggas are sick. He was Fuck. the same oh man I just seen standing in my room. Now, all three had their hands on the girl. They're gonna rip her tight. damn limbs the girl off. Girl wasn't laughing anymore. She had a look of utter devastation. A tear was dropping from her eye, but it wasn't just a tear. It was blood trickling down her eye socket. She then mouthed the words "Help me," and the next second she screamed as if her lungs were being ripped off as the screen went black. I fucking told you she was gonna get her shit ripped off. All right, but quick question though: If y'all was in this position, right? If y'all was in this position and you can clearly see she's fucked and she's about to die and she says, help me. Do you help? Like, what do you do? Like, do you not do anything? Do you go to the police? Because like, what? you're on the deep web. First of all, you shouldn't even be on there. Second of all, if you go to the police, more than likely, they're not going to be able to help you out or her. I'm going to be honest. If it's me on the other side of that camera, you're dead. I, I can't help you. I'm I'm sorry you was put in that situation, but you're dead and you're not coming back. I immediately got up and pulled the plug out of my computer and backed out of the room. For a couple seconds, I swear I heard her screams, even though the computer was unplugged. Now y'all would have checked room every quiet, window, but I was too door, and house. to stay there and ran out of my house despite it being 3 a.m. I caught a cab and went over to my friends, who had to talk me down for an hour before I could be calmed. I returned back to my house with my friend a day later. Everything was the same, and after thoroughly checking around the house, we concluded that there was no one there, nor was there a sign of anyone ever having broken in. I've never gone back to the deep web. My friend suggested it might have been some prank by computer hackers, but the way that girl shrieked. The terror she had on her face. It convinced me she had been a victim herself. I had wondered if I had stayed on for longer, if I would have become a victim too. Could those men have found me? Was there really someone in the room with me? There was nothing I could do, because there was nothing concrete to report to the police. What I did do was throw the computer out and buy a new one. There was no way I could even open it back up after what happened. Yeah, see, I would have moved, G. All right, so, but that's the end of this reaction. If you guys enjoyed the, the little spooky llama art story and me reacting to it, let me know down in the comments below. Leave a like, subscribe. If y'all want to see more reactions of any kind of sort, just let me know. And I will see you guys in the next video. I love y'all. Peace. I'ma pull up in that new thing, feeling like I'm Bruce Wayne. Yeah, I get more money than your man. So baby, hop up in my new thing, put you on some new things. Hopefully, your man. Uh